Welcome back, everybody, to Gold Rush. I am an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are going to lease ourselves a drill, and we're going to start drilling out the parcel here. In the process of doing so, we should pick up some nuggets and get ourselves a nice little chunk of gold. I don't know how many nuggets we'll get, but uh, there's always the possibility that we will get enough to maybe even purchase the Glacier Creek uh, wash plant. So I don't have the the machine store unlocked and I, I'm I'm a little bit hesitant to pay twenty thousand dollars to do that since I mean we're gonna lease the drill and the only other thing we're gonna you know potentially buy outright well not potentially that we are planning on to buy outright is the Glacier Creek wash plant. I don't know if we'll buy the Frankensteins or lease those so I just don't know if I want to spend twenty thousand dollars on that. Um, you know, since we're not going to be using it a lot moving forward. One thing I do need to figure out, though, is how the heck do I get out of here? I can't even remember. <laughs> so we are, where are we? Uh, we're right here. And it looks like we have to go south. Uh, uh, actually, yeah, we go, <clears throat> excuse me, go back to the equipment, and then we actually head west on that road. Okay. It's actually been a little over a week, maybe. Uh, since the last time I played, I, I recorded a couple of episodes ahead so I can keep you guys in the in the videos. I've been managing to release these, what, has it been once every other day or something like that? So we'll keep trying to do that as best as we can. Uh, but yeah, we need to go this way. So yeah, let's head on back into town and we're going to lease ourselves the drill and then we'll have it delivered out here. Uh, I just don't see any point in buying the drill because it's not something... You know, we're going to use it here on Nighthawk, and then uh, we might not even buy any more parcels in this playthrough. This might be the final parcel, because this is the best one. So why buy the drill? It just doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. I suppose it could make sense if you were planning on doing all the parcels, um, and you also didn't necessarily want to drill everything all at once, but... My plan is to drill the whole parcel out all at once. So that way we know where to go to get to the good gold. So, yeah. If I can just remember how to get back now. Let's put some lights on here, too. Nice and snowy day here in Haines, Alaska. It's a brisk day. It's only 29 degrees Fahrenheit, though. That's, I mean, that's definitely chilly. It's below freezing, but it's not, like, deadly cold, you know? Well, even that's kind of a relative thing to say. 29 degrees would be deadly cold if you were exposed too long. But I'm I'm saying what I guess I mean is Alaska's known for sub-zero weather and it's not sub-zero. All right, so let's cross the Alaska Alaskan River here and kind of enjoy the view as we drive back to town to get that drill. load screen there. Looks like the road pretty much closes just right up that way. There are more story pages for us to find, but we kind of decide. well, I decided in the last episode that it's probably not really worth looking for those in the snow because they're just really hard, whoop, really hard to see. So we'll probably wait and do that later in the spring or summertime. But yeah, I'm not going to have the drill for that long, and at this point, I don't plan on doing any other parcels besides Nighthawk. You know, plans can always change, of course, but I don't, so I just, again, don't really see the point in purchasing the drill. Uh, so leasing should be just fine for what we need to do. We do also need to get the... You should just... Nah, not in the snow. Uh, we also need to get the large fuel uh, fuel tank, but I don't see the point in doing that in the winter times. You know, with everything already put away, so that's going to be more of a springtime thing when we start back up again. Let's go ahead and cut the engine there. Cash only. Okay, so uh, we want to go to you to the drill and we want to uh rent this 
daily rent costs twenty seven thirty. That's not a problem at all. And then we go into the checkout thingamadoodle, and we order that. And then we go over to the delivery thingamadoodle, and we select the drill in machine. And we don't want that to go to Old Arnold. We want that to go to Nighthawk. Move your machines. And it's a done deal. Okay, so we got the drill out there. Let's take a look at the paint shop really quick. I think that... Um, I think this is something I might have to get off of Steam. I'm just looking to see what the options are here. Golden, Halloween, Christmas, user, custom user paint. <coughs> camo, leopard, pink camo. No, I don't think so. Dragon scale. All right, you know what? Let me uh, workshop. Wait, what? Base paint workshop. Let me take a quick look on the Steam Workshop and see if I can find uh, how to do this. So I'll be right back. All right, guys, we are back, and uh, I got some skins off of the uh, Steam Workshop. So we are on Nighthawk Parcel, and if we go to the Workshop, I got this um, Anna Morgan Army Pickup skin, but how do I... Okay, so I guess I I guess that worked, didn't it? Yeah. That's cool. Looks a little bit better than just the boring old army green. Okay. All right, let's go back to here. Back to Nighthawk Parcel. Okay. Um That's funny that you can how do you do user? Uh, maybe you have to upload a uh, a thingy for it. Uh, anyway, for the front end loader, I got the uh, Volvo loader. Okay. And then for the dump truck, we got the JCB. Uh, I like the JCB tracker tractors in the farming simulator game. So we got that for our uh, for our dump truck. For our excavator, we got the Cat 336. And for the drilling machine, I got this cat, also a cat skin. Okay. And there's a, there was a couple other things, too, that we could have done, but that should be good enough. So, yeah, this now has... Uh, oh yeah, you know what? It's probably not on this one. It's probably on the one we rented. Right. Okay. Cool. All right. So let's head on back out to Nighthawk and um, check out the new skins for our stuff. I like the yeah, I like this uh, forest camouflage on the truck. It looks just a little bit better than it did before. Still looks kind of like a beat up old truck, but that's kind of appropriate for Haynes, Alaska gold mining. But it does look a little cooler. And I'm uh, curious to see how the excavator and the dump truck and all those guys are going to look. All right, we are here. Oh, yeah, look at that. Uh, look at that drill. That looks cool. Me likey. All right, let's go look at our other equipment. So we got the Volvo front loader. Still kind of rusty looking, but that's all right. And the Cat 336 excavator. That looks nice. Very nice. And then the JCB rock truck. Cool, man. All right, we are. We're moving up in the world, peeps. Moving up in the world.
Um, okay, so I guess the, the next order of business here is to get going on the drilling. So let's get in here. I haven't um, actually operated this for quite a while, uh, but it's relatively straightforward, as I recall. Um, release the handbrake. So actually here, let's bring up the map for a second. And we are, where are we? We are, uh, I don't know where we are. Where are we? All right, go back to the normal map. Okay, so we're kind of down in the southeast corner of, of the parcel here. Our, our wash plant, though, is over here kind of more uh, on the east side, so we should probably start from there. Is the, wait a minute, is the wash plant inside the, the pay dirt? Here, let's just drive over there and take a look. Yeah, this looks really nice. It's actually all, almost too yellow saturated. Yeah, I don't know. No, the wash plant's not in, in the actual pay dirt. Okay. Fair enough. So, obviously, we want to, you know, we're going to probably want to start at the beginning, right? Um, but whether or not we actually drill the dirt, or not, I'm sorry, not drill the dirt, but dig the dirt, depends upon how rich it is next to the wash plant. So, I guess it makes sense for us to kind of just start here and, and start checking things out. All right, so... Let's move here. R is raised drill, F is lower drill. Okay. Set handbrake before drilling. All right, now, when I drilled these out on old Arnold, I, I pretty much just drilled... Oh, okay. I, I pretty much just drilled in one, you know, one drill per square, but... You're really kind of supposed to drill in multiple places within the square because that gives you a better idea of which part of each square has the rich dirt. Because you can have a a square with with you know with some rich dirt in it, but also some really crappy dirt. So I'm, I, but that's just going to take so much longer. So I don't know if that's really if I'm going to do that or not. I don't know. We'll see. I'll tell you what we'll do if. When it looks like we're starting to get into some richer spots, I might drill some more holes. But I think we'll probably start with just one drill, you know, per hole. Uh, I'm sorry, one drill per square and, until it looks like we're getting into the to the better stuff here. See, we're still really close to the to the edge here. Um, does that tell us anything though? Uh, all right, hold on. Let's go back to the map again for a second. Nighthawk parcel. Oh, we're looking at old Arnold. That's why I've been so confused. Okay, so this is going to be parcel four. Yeah, okay. That makes a little more sense. I was like, I couldn't figure out what the heck was going on there. I think we're on parcel four, right? Are we on parcel four? We should be. Why don't they? Yeah, Nighthawk parcel. Okay. So it still doesn't look like uh, anything we, we've drilled on the edge has actually shown up, probably just because it's too close to the edge. Uh, but let's move out to 373 here. Set the drill. What? Set the drill to safe position. Oh, we've got to pull it back out. Sorry. I forgot it was still down in the ground there. Okay, let's go to 373 and see if we can get an actual drill going there. All 
Oh, come on, man. That thing would not have that much trouble going up that incline in real life. Okay, stop right there. There we go. All right, let's see if this one gets all the way down. Okay, looks like it did. So this is 373. If we go to the gold map uh, and find 373, which is right here. Oh, that's terrible. Okay. Yeah, that's a that's a terrible square. Okay. All right. Well, um, I'm wondering if three. 49 and 374 are too close to the in fact even this one might might be too but let's just let's just try them and see what happens 348 just because they're right at the border doesn't mean they're not good I mean we had some really rich squares right next to the border of an old Arnold um 348 yeah terrible like i mean zilch well not zilch but i mean only 8.2 ounces okay well um just because i'm kind of a completionist i'm gonna at least hit 374 and 349 because they're full squares but I'm not expecting anything amazing from them. But let's just see what happens. Nope. That has 3.28 ounces as well. Uh, what was the other one I wanted to do? Was it 349? Yeah. Let's just try it. It doesn't look like we're getting into anything good in this area. We should probably stay a little closer out from the bank, too. 3.27 ounces. Okay, so, so far, not so good. I wonder, are we supposed to be drilling inside this red border? Because we're actually outside of the red border, even though we're actually in pay dirt. I don't know. Let's go to 397. See what happens. Maybe we're just kind of outside the border or something. I'm not really sure. Okay, we'll take a look at this. All right, so 397 has 640.43 ounces, but it still sucks. <laughs> Uh, all right, we'll try 422 next, and then maybe we'll hit 447 as well. Four forty two is bad. Okay, we'll try four forty seven next. So far we haven't gotten any nuggets either. All right, 12.61 ounce nugget. Fantastic. That's what I'm talking about. We're keeping the nuggets this time, too, by the way. If you didn't, I talked about that in the last episode. Uh, okay, but still a terrible square. Really bad square, actually. I don't know. Should we go? I mean, I haven't really seen any difference between these squares and these squares. No, I mean, nothing significant. I just don't know what the red line means does it tell us oh okay so dig site border interesting so even though that appears to be pay dirt this would seem to suggest we can't actually dig in that dirt hmm. that seems odd all right well based upon that we'll stay we'll go ahead and stay inside the red line then which means um i think what we'll do is Let's go up to 371, and then we'll just work our way south all the way down to 571. And um, see if we can come up with some more nuggets and 
hopefully, you know, start seeing a little bit better dirt than this. But, you know, it could take a while. I mean, worst case scenario is the pay dirt's like way deep into here and it's going to take a, a long time before we find it. But, you know, we're not going to know until we, until we do it. So we just got to do it. Let's buckle down and get her done. All right, guys. So, uh, <clears throat> excuse me. I think uh, I think we go ahead and wrap up the video here because, as you can see, <laughs> it's just going to be going from square to square to square uh, to keep drilling. Uh, but I thought I'd keep you with me until we at least hit 100 ounces. Uh, we're now at 105.379 ounces, actually, of gold, and that's of course in nuggets because uh, we didn't have any gold when we started this. So I'm just going <clears> to <throat> excuse me. Keep drilling this out and um probably won't bring you back until i'm completely done and when we are completely done then i'll show you uh you know i'll show you the gold map uh, at that point in time and for those of you who don't know everybody's game uh is seated differently so you know my gold map's not going to be exactly the same as your nighthawk parcel will be uh so you know there's nothing no spoilers or anything like that and uh if i do get into some you know some really rich spots i mean even these aren't that great they're they're definitely you know the best ones i've found so far but if i get into to the really good ones i'll probably do multiple drills in that those areas too but i'm just going to do single drills until you know while we're still in kind of the crappy dirt here uh, but one thing i'm starting to see here is that it looks like <clears throat> you know we'll probably cut our way into the dig up 
you know, through here because this this dirt is probably going to worth be worth our while to to actually wash. Anything that's gray, we're not even going to bother with. I mean, yeah, there is some gold in here, but it's just not worth our time. Uh, but you know, I fully expect to find some pretty hot spots on this parcel. One thing I don't get though is if you know if if that's the dig site border. I mean, what what's the deal with all the rest of this stuff over here? Well, maybe that's just not dig dirt but we know that this over here was dig dirt so yeah i'm not really sure why that borders there but it is so i'm going to assume unless i find out otherwise that we have to stay within that border but uh, yeah we got a lot of drilling to do here this is going to take me a while this is one of those things where i'm probably going to have to you know put on a youtube <laughs> video and just kind of veg out and go through this it's gonna i'll bet you it's gonna probably take me three three to four hours maybe of real time to drill all of this out uh, but we'll see. But nevertheless, uh, I'm not going to do that all on camera because you guys will be bored out of your mind. And at least, you know, uh, one of us is going to have to be bored out of our mind doing this. And it's going to have to be me and not you guys. <laughs> so anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the episode. And uh, yeah, if you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share the video. And when I do bring you back in the next episode, we should have this whole place drilled out. And then we are going to wrap things up for season one and go hang out at the hotel for the rest of the winter guys thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed this episode and if you did please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel leave a comment share the video and we'll catch you in the next episode Bye bye